In this video, I will explain what is an bisection method, what are the advantages and disadvantages of an bisection method. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Like the video, share the video with your friends and write the comments, subscribe to the channel, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Bisection method is one of the method which is used in a numerical analysis to find the root of a given equation and this one is the simplest convergence guaranteed method to find the root of an equation. It was the simplest and the convergent method through which we can find the root of an equation. Bisection method is also known as an bolozono or half interval or binary search method even it is also called as an successive bisection method. What are the merits or the advantages or the benefits of an uh, bisection method? Let's see them one by one. The first one is convergence is guaranteed. The bisection method is a bracketing method and it is always converge, always convergent. That means whatever the value we are going to get means we are going to find the root of an equation and that root of an equation will be convergent. That means it is nearly towards the exact value of an root, exact value of an root which we are going to find for a given equation means convergence is guaranteed that means it is going to give an value of an root which you are going to find and that will be almost nearer to the exact value of a given equation then second uh, advantage is error can be controlled since the bisection method will be consisting of a number of iterations for that purpose it will be always yielding an more accurate root that means the root will be very nearer it, the rule the root will be very nearer since we are finding the root of a given equation by using the number of iterations that means the number of steps which we use for the purpose of finding the root of a given equation by using an bisection method will be nearly 9 or even 10 up to 12 steps will be performing for that purpose the root will be the root will be almost nearer to the exact root and for that purpose the error will also be controlled the next advantage is does not involve complex calculation so as i told the bisection method is the simplest method to find the root of a given equation because it does not require any complex calculation the only the only calculations which we need to perform in an bisection method is just we need to calculate the average of an two numbers what average of two numbers you are going to find you are going to find the average of an two numbers where the root will be lying between that means where the root will be lying between the root will be lying between a and b such that if f of a and f of b will be having an opposite signs so those a and b values will be taking and will be finding the average that is the formula to find the root of an equation in a bisection method that means it does not involve any complex calculations it is necessary to perform only average of and two numbers to be calculated and calculating an average of two numbers is very simple that means in case of an bisection method it does not involve complex calculations guaranteed error bound so this is the next benefit of an bisection method in an bisection method we are going to find the root of an equation by using an successive iteration because of this successive iteration it is going to give a guaranteed error bound and each of the error bound will be decreasing by half with each of the iterations as we perform more and more number of iteration the error bound is going to decrease that means the more number of iterations the more number of error bound it will be reduced then the next benefit is bisection method is a very simple and easy to program in computer so since it involves only the calculation to find 
the average of an two numbers and finding f of x so it is a very simple and in write a program to write a program in a computer also it is a very simplest program bisection method is a fast in case of multiple roots so these are the advantages merits even we can say that the benefits of an using bisection method the various drawbacks or the demerits or the disadvantages of using and bisection method to find the root of an given equations are the first one is slow rate of convergence although the convergence in case of an bisection method is guaranteed but it is generally slow why it is slow because the number of iterations to get the convergence will be more it requires around 10 even it requires around 14 to 15 steps to find the root of an given equation for that purpose it is generally slow but the convergence of an root will be correct there is it will give an convergent value which is very very nearer to the exact value for an given equation that is we are going to find the root and that root is called as an approximate root but that approximate root will be very nearer to the exact root of an given equation the next demerit is choosing one guess close to the root has no advantage <coughs> means choosing one guess close to the root may result in requiring many iterations to convert for that purpose we need to have two or even the three guesses which are very nearer to the root then the third one is cannot find the root of some equation for example if the equation has been given as f of x is equal to x square as there is no bracketing values here we cannot find the root for this particular equation the other demerits or the drawbacks or the disadvantage of an bisection method are it has a linear rate of convergence it fails to determine the complex roots it cannot be applied if there are discontinuity in the guess intervals it cannot be applied over an interval where the function takes the values of an same sign because the fundamental property of a root of an given equation says that if we have two values such as a and b exist then f of a and f of b should be of an opposite signs but if they are of same signs then we can out find the root means it cannot be applied over an interval where the function takes a values of an same sign like the video subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends gain the knowledge and rule the world